Hello, and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath and an intuitive card reader. And right now, I'm just putting this smudge up. So it's a smudge mixture of sweetgrass that grows on our property and sage. It's an indigenous custom for clearing out old, tired, stale energies and also cleaning 95% of the bacteria out of your home if it's airborne. But I like to use it just for that, for the energies. You can't smoke it. At least I don't think anybody, you choke to death on this stuff if you tried to smoke it. So I've done my cards and asked the masters of the universe, masters of the natural world, order and spirit guides, to please come and take out all the old tired energies. Cards have already been previously cleaned. So the rocks that I use for cleansing, and this is for all of you. So I'd like to see everybody get some of this good energy. So we try to keep good energy on this channel and try to keep things positive and always, always go for the best. And if some bad turns up, we'll find the good in that too. We'll find good somewhere. All right. There we go. We'll let that smolder. All right. Thank you so much for coming to visit this evening. Um, I'm here this evening to do um, a reading for the sign of Pisces um, for the general reading for the month of September 2016. What I'm doing is a five card spread for anybody that's new. Using the Oceanic Tarot deck. This is for Bay of Fundays, very fitting. All water stuff. And then I pull, I pull five cards from that deck, and then I pull one significator from the deck of tarot at the end of the reading. <clears throat> Anything else that the, uh, tarot wants you to know and spirits want you to know will pop up in the significator. It, sometimes it doesn't come up here. Um, sometimes it's quite a surprise when it comes up. And uh, the fact that it didn't come up through the five card spread emphasizes surprise even more. Um, okay, so um, this is a general reading. So it may or may not resonate with you on a personal level. If you find you like the reading and you want a private reading that is that is specifically just for you, I do offer that service. And all that information is down below this video window um, in the description box. Everything is very simple. You just shoot me off an email and you just say you want to have a, re a reading done. What you receive is what you're seeing here now. Same thing. Only I'll, I do a, a larger spread for you. And then I give you the link. I call the keys to the video when it's done. It looks just like this, only it's for you, your name. Say your name a lot um, and um, do, the, do the spread. And then I upload it to YouTube under private so nobody gets to see it but you. And you can watch that video over and over and over again. For those of you, just to touch lightly, for those of you that are new to YouTube, there's a button, a red button below this window. It says subscribe. All subscriptions are free. All that's for is every time Bay of Fundy Fortunes posts any new videos, you'll be alerted via your email. That's all it is. Um, you can leave any time if you don't want to remain, and but I don't think you're going to do that. You can join me on Facebook as well. Um, I did a small piece text-wise and pasted a link about Mercury going retrograde. I'm not, I'm not fluent in astrology. I enjoy astrology very much, mind you, very, very much, but... I'm not well learned in that in that department. My thing is tarot cards, but this is important. The Mercury goes retrograde about four times a year, and what it does is um, it follows the, along the elliptical line as all the other planets do. The elliptical line is not a complete circumference. It's not a perfect circle. It's more oval shaped. So what happens is, uh, I think it's like four times a year when it comes back through. I'd have to do more research, but just know that when it's traveling on that line. Um, and it comes around the bend, it appears to it appears to go backwards, but it doesn't actually go backwards. It just slows down and it slows everything down. Things that we can't even see, touch, smell, hear, or taste, the energies around us. Um, the biggest impact that Mercury has is on communications of any kind. I'm talking verbal to technology wise. Um, things just get really back crap crazy. Um, you really have to be on top of everything that's personal. But there's a, there's always an upside to Mercury going retrograde as well. And in in the fact that it slows everything down, it slows us down too. 
and gives us a more um, clarity of mind. So when we go to my Facebook page, Bay of Fundy Fortunes, and somebody will let you in when you knock on the door. And you can go in there, you can read that little blurb, and I pasted a link that could say it way better than I could. Um, and you can also Google this information. Mercury going retrograde, and what does it mean? Um, so there's that. I think I've covered just about everything. I want to get on to the reading. How about you? All right. So, five card spread, Oceanic Tarot deck. Each card lands in a certain placement. First place, the first card, your overall energy of this reading. The second card is your wealth and your finances. The third card is love, heart, home, family, romantic love, anything close to your heart. Fourth card is your challenges for the month of September Pisces. And then we have the fifth card, which is your message from spirit. And then we have the overall significator card. So it'll either relate to these cards or something else that couldn't be brought up in the cards. Come out on this, baby. All right. So very first card that I pulled for you, Pisces, was Three of Cups. It's about reunion. And I forgot to put my little spotlight up. Oh, darn. And I put it away lights my cards up for me. It's in the daytime, they're fine, but in the evening, it's a whole different kettle of fish. Anyways, hearts. Hearts are always anything pertaining, or the cups. Cups are anything pertaining to hearts, because you see cups in the regular playing deck are hearts. I make that mistake all the time. I, I, I don't hear myself what I'm saying here. Um, but cups are anything pertaining to the heart. Love, um, matters that surround your home and your most personal relationships. The keywords for this card are celebration and friendship, healing, um, fun, a little flirtation, a little bit of indulgence where you go a little bit above board, maybe a second helping of ice cream on a warm summer night, um, and creativity flows as well. Um, at this time of the year, for example, this evening, not to get off topic, but the energies in my house this evening are really, really on. They're really, really good. And I live a stressful life nothing to do with the cards but I live a stressful life and that's all personally you're not here to hear about that but <clears throat> I live on the Atlantic Ocean on the Bay of Fundy they all, at the Bay of Fundy flows in and out of the Atlantic Ocean or vice versa and I live right on, here on the coast and in my backyard I have a cove and we get 28 29 almost 30 foot tides that come in here tides twice a day we have the highest tides in the world here on the Bay of Fundy you can google that too it's quite interesting <clears throat> I have a frog tonight. You're going to have to bear with me a little bit. So anyway, um, I live on this cove, and um, I watch the tide come in and out, and it's an inspiration to me, and everything about me and who I am is right there. That's who I am. I relate to it. It has saved my sanity more than once. But this evening, it's a warm summer, summer night, and every door and every window in my house is open right now. And the tide is coming in. I think it's pitch black out there. I live rural, so there's not many lights. There's two lights across the coal because there's a road over there that takes you down to Crow Island, which just sits right out here um, at the mouth of my coal. And this evening, there's just this beautiful, warm summer breeze. And I love the sound of crickets because um, it always reminds me of those old fashioned black and white movies where you see a young couple, you know, sitting on the front swing or they're taking a walk down this, this this sidewalk with, you know, roses and lilac, not lilacs, but roses and flowers and bloom. And you can hear the crickets in the background and the moon. So it's one of those nights here. It really is. The atmosphere is very much like that. <clears throat> so I've got the crickets, the sound of them floating through the window. The breeze off the Bay of Fonda, it's all salt water. That, flow, you know, that comes in through the window. Um, I let myself become enveloped in that. And everything here, everybody is asleep except for me. And the energies, what I do to prepare for the readings, I do. I have this whole thing that I go through. I'm not chanting at the moon or anything like that, but I have these things that I go through. And the energy here this evening is just like this card says. It's a time for celebration and friendship. People sitting around, you know, um, having a good meal together under the summer sun, maybe beneath the shade of an old maple tree or an old oak tree. Um, and everybody is a very laid back, relaxed atmosphere. 
God help us, we're not in that energy in the middle of February here in this part of the world where we're getting blinding blizzards and I can't see past my windows. I can't see the cove because it's, it's in a blizzard in a wall of snow. And we certainly don't feel like we're sitting under the shade of an old oak tree at that time. What we do feel to change the energies is we kind of hole up. My, my, I live in a winterized cottage. It's all knotty pine wood, the real deal, not the fake stuff. All through the house ceilings, the walls are all dark. So we can get a very cozy atmosphere going inside here. But this is different. This kind of atmosphere, and the atmosphere that I'm feeling here tonight, the energies are really good. And this is what it's all about. It's about summer nights. Um, I've been saying this for all the signs. If you're a repeat viewer, you've heard me say this already. The summer of love for a lot of people. Um, there's been this romantic, loving, laid back, easy, easy, loving energy that's been floating around everywhere. And it's a wonderful thing. It's almost palpable. You can almost touch it and feel it. And this card is, is not a bad card at all. It's about reunions. And that's what goes on at this time of year. Even at the end of August into September, this part of the world, it becomes very beautiful in the fall. It's breathtaking. People take big cruise ships to come up here and look at the fall foliage. It's very pretty. But a lot of people know the weather here. It's not too hot in the daytimes anymore. In the evenings, cool down enough that you sleep comfortably. And if you live rural well, there's, there's, you know, you think in, at night when the moon when the moon comes up and the sun goes down that it's going to be so quiet. There are moments when I can hear my own heartbeat beat. I can I can I can hear my own breathing. Um, but then then there's a cacophony of noise most times, and it's nature coming to life at night after dark. And there's a lot of it. Um, so the energies of life are always roaming through everywhere. So they're they're ever present. Um, and reunions are a big thing because it's the perfect time of year to travel. Um, <clears throat> the advice of this card is to let yourself feel carefree. Um, there's a downside that you don't see in the movies. Mosquitoes, one got in. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, um, enjoy the company of those type of people, the people in your life, the ones that make you laugh. Try to make a point um, and push your energy towards these kinds of people. We all have them. Um, gravitate more towards them than any negative, serious commitments that you may have going on in your life right now. Of course, we don't ignore our commitments. Take care of them first and foremost, and then you can take care of you. And the idea of taking care of you right now at this time of the year, with the weather being the way it is, um, everything seems to come a lot easier. I find during the summer months, people are more panicked, more in a rush, even those on vacation, um, until they get to their destination, it's this big stressful ball, just get me there, get me there, get me there. And then they go, <sighs> but there's too much of that stuff before you get there that's going on in the summertime. This time of the year, summer vacations are taken very seriously. Children are going back to school. Students, college students, university students, everything's starting to gear up again. So some people take that time and they know that's coming. And they go, okay, I've been messing around all summer, and I didn't really get my rest. <clears throat> and I'm feeling a jumble of nerves, and I'm not supposed to feel that. But I am now because I know it's all about to end. It's all coming to an end, of it, and it's back to the real world again. So there's a lot of that going on for you right now. Um, this three predicts that there are some weddings going on, Pisces, some parties, reunions. Precious moments with the people that you love. Wherever you're going to be, these places that you're going to be, the people you're going to be around are going to be places, if you seek them out and you make it a point to go out of your way to do this, this is where you can really just be yourself and let yourself go. That's going to be the atmosphere. It's like that here at night. I'm, I'm in the moment and I'm very happy in this moment. I'm not thinking back to yesterday and maybe my day wasn't so great and I'm not thinking about tomorrow I'm thinking about right now I'm in the now I'm here with you I'm here reading cards and there's a beautiful breeze and it's a gorgeous night and all my stress of the day is gone I've let it all go 
So when the sun goes down and the moon comes up, it's almost like the whole planet, Mother Earth, does this huge sigh. Mother Earth does that. Spiritually, she does. She's my sign, too. She's a Cancer. I'm a Cancer. So is Mother Earth. I do that at the end of the day. I love the daytime, but I, there's something about that that comes over me at night when I'm alone because I, I like to spend time by myself. Not that I don't love everybody in my life, but I'm real greedy about spending time alone because it, it benefits them. Really, it benefits them in my way that I am with people, and this is what's going to happen with you. When you come back off this, <clears throat> this hiatus, this retreat, this last shot, as saying I had a good summer, and that's what it's going to be for some of you, Pisces, the last shot that you got to enjoy summer. Um, it's going to be to everybody else's benefit. You're going to be a lot more calm, a lot more together. Uh, you'll have more clarity. Everything will be calm. You'll feel calm. And because of that, any stressful situations that do pop up, I'm not stay, saying that, oh, we're all going to live in a little bubble because this time of year, that's not it at all. You're still going to have, you know, situations that come up. You will handle them different, differently than, let's say, what you would, you know, um, in the middle of April or May or in the dead of winter. You're going to handle them differently in a lot calmer, more reasonable manner. If you're working on any creative projects right now, Pisces, now's the time to get in the zone. Ta-da! I'm not a Pisces, but I'm in the zone. Okay, that's the overall energy. That's pretty good. Now, this guy, excuse me, I'm very dry tonight. I've had a busy day. Cheers, it's just lemonade. Homemade lemonade. Oh, boy, that's sour. Um, this guy is in the financial sector for you right now, Pisces, that came up. One, two, three, four. The last five readings for the other signs, he's popped up somewhere along the five-card spread. He's got a message for everybody. 78, deck, 78 cards in this deck. And I shuffle the bejeez out of them. I really, really do. Um, if I showed you from start to finish, <clears throat> we'd be here an hour and a half for this monthly reading. You know, it would just go on and on with the shuffling and you'd be bored. So I don't bother you with that. Um, but 78 cards and I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. He's not sticky or anything like that. He's clean and dry. And he keeps showing up. And it's the king of the ocean. He's all about order. The nudge right off to say for some of you Pisces, this is where I kick in. You need to get your finances in order. That's the nudge that I'm feeling for. You know what? And I, I usually say, oh, two or three of you or a few of you. A lot of you Pisces. Wake up, slap. Get your finances in order. I don't know why, but that's the nudge. And it's highly important for some of you that you need to do this right now. Um, some of you have been having a blast all summer long. You've been on riding the train of fun and, um, you've kind of dipped in a bit too, too much. Maybe, you know, living in the moment's fine. And, uh, you know, if, if you were to be on your deathbed tomorrow, would you regret going to that three-star hotel that you spent two weeks at having the absolute time of your life? You're not going to regret that because you still haven't paid for it. That's not what's going to be foremost on your mind but ah, living in the now can be unsettling a little further down the road if we are not careful it can be a wonderful thing if we take precautions and some of you have gotten carried away he's all about order and he's also all of also i can't talk tonight i'm sorry i'm dry that's the problem he's also the king of the ocean is also about traditional values are very very important when this guy shows up and that's going to reflect in you too at this time for September you're going to be facing tradition facing personal values integrity you're going to be looking to even if you're not the cards advising to get order of your life get your life in order if chaos has ruled recently if there's been any kind of upheavals um, he's around to tell you that if he's not an actual person, and if he's not actually, I think he's sometimes the U card, um, there's going to be order restored. Things are going to be set right again. Uh, See, so you can take a breath there. 
you're probably going to have to work at that a little bit yourself. But the opportunity and the energies are going to be laid out before you to get order of your life. Any any upheavals, any chaos of any kind, anything that's been kind of left a mess, you're going to get order of it. If any boundaries at this time also have been crossed, um, your territory will be will be um, restored. And we mean uh, by territory and boundaries, we don't specifically mean terra firma. We don't specifically mean, you know, the ground that we're standing on. It can mean that. But in this case, my nudge is this is all this is all um, personal space. Somebody's crossed over. Um, either, either physically they've gotten too close and that can be annoying when people don't, you know, people, you don't have to lean right into somebody's face when you're speaking to them and, and about this far away. That's rude. Um, and it's just bad mannered and it's ignorant. Some people don't know any better when they do that. They've never been told, man, back up a little bit. You know, arm's length is acceptable. So it could be territories crossed that way or boundaries crossed that way. It could also be it could be emotional boundaries have been crossed where somebody has nudged to say for some of you, someone has come into your home, into your turf, and into your territory that is where you live. And they have been a bit too forward. They have been a bit too opinionated about your personal life. For some of you, this is what, and it's rub. It's like rubbing the cat's fur the wrong way. It's really, you're just like, oh. How could they do that? And for some of you, you're going because you're Pisces. Sometimes Pisces has this other side that pulls back when they're caught off guard. And some of you are going to let this person that's just walked into your personal space, into your personal life, into your home even, and behave in a way that is not about you. And, and that's not the way you are. And this is not the type of people you associate with. You know, you don't, you don't disrespect that person, but you want them to respect you. There's the problem. There was a lot of disrespect shown. Some of you are going to be dealing with that. That's coming up if it hasn't already happened. Um, and some of you, um, there may be one, <laughs> maybe just one of you that's going to just be in one of them nasty moods and you're just waiting for somebody, you know, to uh, drop the straw that's going to break this camel's back and you're going to be livid. And you're going to, you're going, you're not going to like go off, you know, like big time hollering and yelling. You're going to stay seated and you're going to come back with some pretty dry comments. And the sarcasm will be dripping from your mouth because you are not in the mood for this. Who does this person think they are coming in and doing this? Okay. Some people, um, some of you, because this is your financial sector, they're not just there to tell you. Somebody's going to try to tell you how to run your finances, and it's none of their business. There's a big boundary cross right there, and how to spend your money or what you should do with your money. These people are just people that weren't brought up. Um, their social skills are a little stunted because nobody's ever told them you don't talk about certain things with people unless you're really close to them, like you don't talk about religion or politics or finances, what's in your bank account, how much is your rent, what did you pay for that car, you know. There's things we don't talk about out of respect for privacy, and they don't get the privacy. But there's one of you, Pisces, that's going to sit back and go, heck with this crap. I'm only going to go through this once with this person. They are going to be so told that they won't be able to get out that door fast enough. And one of you is going to do that. You're really going to go wham and bring that hammer down and straighten this person out because you don't want to have to deal with this again because next time, you will not be firm. You will not be nice. You will blow up. And that'll be that. And then there'll be no communication at all. It'll be somebody that you used to know. Okay. Um, so um, along with your finances, getting them in order, you need to get your work in order too. Some of you have kind of like dropped the tools and just taken off. And there's things left undone. Now's, now's the time to do it. Not really even real serious. It's just the energies are now's the time to do it. Very nice, clean, even flow with the energies right now and coming into September. And I feel that already, that for September, that's going to be the main flow for most of you. Get your home in order as well. Take control of your assets. 
So that way you have the power. If you're in control of your assets, you're the one that's in power. Keywords for this card, King of the Ocean. Focus, protection, wisdom, um, authority, leadership, and boundaries. Those are your key words. Focus, protection, wisdom, authority, leadership, and boundaries. So some of you are going to have to shake off the shy part and the quiet part. And why can't we all just get along and love each other part? And you're going to have to get down to brass tacks. Third card that I pulled for you this evening is the Wheel of Fortune. And this card represents destiny. And it fell in your love, your heart, your romance sector. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry that I didn't hook my, my little spotlight for the, for the cards. They're very hard to see. I like to share the artwork of the artist. Wheel of Fortune. All right, here we go. Your keywords for this card, Pisces, are fate, luck, the unexpected, movement, change, maybe crossroads. And a lot of you right now are feeling, feeling very clairvoyant as well. Strong intuition right now. That's due. Um, here's the other part of Mercury going retrograde. This is what can happen. It can open up the energies because everything is slowing down. So the energies have time to catch up with you. And it's nice because you're just riding the soft wave for a little while. Um, the advice of this card is to... Um, <clears throat> this card is not so much about doing or giving as it is receiving and going with the flow. As I just said, be grateful of the good fortune that's coming your way. When you're in that kind of an energy that's going like this, and, and it's just a soft, beautiful ride. It, like the soft breeze that's around me tonight, this is a soft, beautiful ride for you. Pisces, if you allow it to be so. Um, this card is going to, uh, when it shows up, it says there's a boost coming to your life. A boost, a lift, a good thing. And it's forward moving. Um, your advice right now is to allow fate to take you to your destiny. It shows that you're feeling some optimism now. Um, you're going to take some uh, unexpected chances that come your way and um, turn them into some great decisions. And your intuition is heightened. And Pisces, for those of you already in relationship, my nudge to tell you right now is it's going to get better. Even for those of you that have been in long-term relationships, there's going to be a period of appreciation for each other, happy to see each other at the end of your work day, making time to have meals together to go. Something maybe you never do is go for a walk after dinner um, in the evening, just before sunset, and take a nice walk and a nice stroll. You haven't done that in years. And you're going to be finding that you're going to be wanting, and, and it's going to come without any effort at all. Very, very, very easy. Love is going to grow, and love is going to deepen. And, of course, for the single Pisces, there's always a chance of a new love walking into your life at any minute now. And it'll be a good thing, a real boost to your life. It'll fulfill your life, make your life more richer. Um, some of you will find the mirror image of you. That's like the perfect, it's the perfect setup. What the heck, eh? Okay, uh-oh. It's not bad. It's just in your challenges for September, Pisces. It's the card of boredom, four of cups. Take a little drink here while I'm doing this. Oh. <laughs> okay, boredom. The advice for this uh, this um, card is to look for inspiration. Try to renew your faith. Life will bring you what you need when you need it. Believe in that. If you believe in it, it will be so. When the four arrives, you're looking for better. Right at the moment, you're feeling dissatisfied for some of you. No belief of a better life or a better love. Um, you're retreating into your shell. This is for very few of you. Keywords for this card are stagnant. That would have been my word right off. Despondent, disillusionment, self-protection, a need for change, need, uh, a need to get rid of rigidity, and you're stubborn about it. There's your challenge for September. For the odd few of you that are feeling somewhat off-kilter right, right now, feeling of anxious, you're anxious, and you're feeling so frustrated, um, 
other people around you aren't doing what you'd like them to be doing. And that's really, really setting a bit of a fire under you. And, 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 and in, there are other areas of your life you're going, we've been here and we've done this before and I am so bored, so bored that I just can't handle it. I'm going to go off on my own somewhere away from this because I don't want this. I've been here, seen, done this dance before and I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm going to go off. You know what? And you go off and guess what happens? You're all alone. And it's real easy to slide into a shell. Close the lid down and just close out the work. Don't do that, Pisces. It's not in your nature to be that way. Don't do that. Don't go into the shell. Fight back. Say, darn it. You know what? I'm going to do something completely, completely different tomorrow. I'm going to take myself somewhere that I've always wanted to go and I never went. Maybe there's a new patisserie in town. You're going to go in there and you're going to sit and have a lovely cup of hot chocolate, you know, this kind of thing. Um, take yourself shopping. There's a park that you drive by all the time. Why don't you stop at that park? Grab yourself a coffee to go somewhere and go sit on the park bench and just take in the, just take in the day um, to, to restore yourself and find yourself again. These are your challenges. They're emotional. Emotional challenges. There's really nothing other than, you know, getting your finances and your life in order. But these things are kind of bored, and I hate that word. I don't get bored. Um, I just don't. When you live where I do, you don't get bored. I may be poor and living in a little cottage, but I live in one of the most beautiful spots. It's breathtaking. It's heartbreakingly beautiful, and I'm so lucky and so grateful to be where I am so I don't get bored. I can go for a walk on the beach. I can go for a walk in the woods. You know, and go for a walk on the main road and wave at the traffic as it goes by because they all wave out here. Um, but bored, no. And there's no reason bored. You've got to be responsible for your own activities and your own actions. And if you see the same old, same old, and you say, I'm so bored with this, change it, Pisces. Get off your laurels and get out there and change it. That's all I can say. That's your challenges. And that isn't bad. That's nothing. Get it together. Okay. Your, your uh, message from spirit, your fifth card in the Oceanic Tarot deck. This is where I'm running into a long reading. Um, it's the star, and it's all about hope. This is your message from spirit. I wish I had my lights up. Okay. So when this star, uh, this, this card appears... The star is a symbol. It's a symbolism of hope. Also, intuitiveness comes up again. Very strong, strongly intuitive. Listen to your intuition this, this month for the month of September. Make sure you listen to your intuition. Those little nudges, they're flashes. It's all the only way I can describe it. There's a flash in it, and, and it just kind of comes in. A little picture comes in somewhere in here. You see it, not with your eyes, but you see it with your with your intuition, those little flashes, those are the ones pay attention to and investigate them real quick. Don't check them out later. Check them out right then and there. Sometimes um, there's lessons to be learned um, from hardship and heartache. Um, and um, you need to, yes, take action to make life better. But on the other hand, there's the universe. And right now, the way the energies are so flowing so beautifully and they're so open, the universe has better access to your spirit. Trust in the universe that everything will be all right. You've got nothing to lose. Just trust that protection is going to be there from anything, you know, really negative happening. You, this will also give you um, um, a sense of hope as well. There'll be a sense of hope. And you'll feel that inside. That as long as I have hope, it's not over. No matter what it is. As long as I have hope, things can always get better. And that is the truth. That's life. You have, um, the star also implies that you have guides around you right now to bring you to happier times. So you let destiny take your hand and lead you to these places. Um, it also reveals the possibility of a lot of growth at this time for you as well. The star is here to tell you you are on the right path. 
Even if you feel like you're surrounded by negativity, you've got to go through that. Do you hear me? Don't comment and say, do I have... You've got to go through that. Nothing you can do is going to change that. You've got to go through any difficult times to get to what's better at the other end. It's a path you can't avoid. You just have to suck it up and go through it. We all do every day. So do you. You just have to go through the motions. There's no getting around it. You can't get around Destiny's going to drag you over the coals to bring you into the wobble yonder and where everything seems wonderful again. We all have to go through these things. Lessons are learned and a lot of growth goes on at those times. You're on the right path, even if it's negative. The advice of this card is to follow your heart, respect your inner knowing, trust that the universe will bring you what you need when you need it. The key words for this card are dreams, intuition, healing, rebirth, and wishes. So don't be afraid to wish upon a star. That's a wonderful thing. Listen to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. They're very important. Now, your significator card. The first time I turned her over. These are new cards to me. And this is a first. She came up in reverse, though. It's the world. So I'll show you the card in reverse. This is from the deck of tarot. See if I can get that right lined up there. I'm so sorry about the lighting. Okay. I'll take her down and put her up right. The world. Okay, so to save time, I marked it in the book. She came up reverse. Okay. The reverse of this card, the upright, I have to tell you the upright so you can relate to the reversed, represents completion, reward, celebration, and success. It is closely related to the meaning and symbolism of uh, the symbolization of the circle, of the circle of life. Reversed. The reversed is disappointment, a lack of vision, and in conclusion, in conclusion, some things are not getting concluded. Some things, um, because of the lack of vision for some of you that this applies to, it means because there's a lack of vision, therefore you can't finish what you started. You have no belief that you could finish what's been started. And I say what because that could be relationships and probably is. That's my nudge. Some of you think, um, why is this person, there's a nudge. Why is this person interested in me? Um, this person is drop dead gorgeous. This person has money, has a good job. They're everything I'm not. So why are they interested in me? And you don't see any belief in that. And you don't see any, how this can last. Um, well, once they really get to know me and everything about me, they're never going to like me. They don't ever want anything to do with me. Get out of that headspace. Every human being on the face of this earth, unless they guide their lives with hate and negativity, but everybody outside of those types of people, everybody, you're just as good as anybody else. And it's all about in here. What's in your heart, what's in your soul, your spirit, and your integrity. And a good meme I've seen says, real true integrity is when you do the right thing even when no one is watching. So nobody knows. And if you've got that kind of integrity, you always do the right thing. You don't wait for applause or, or um, people to pat you on the back because you did the right thing. You'll do the right thing anyway, whether there's an audience or not. So that's the most important thing. Pisces, i got to wrap this up. It's like 39 minutes in and this old yapper here just, you're my first reading tonight and I have a few more to go before all the monthlies are done. So you've got the freshness of my energies, I guess you might say. I would like to thank you very much for stopping by. I would like to thank you very, very much um, for just being here. Please subscribe if you haven't. It's always free. You can leave any time you want. Um, and I see a lot. i just seen a lot of things here with a lot of Pisces. There's a lot of things going on for you guys. Just try to get on top of it. Um, in September, by the end of September, you'll have all that stuff behind you. 
all the things you let go over the summer for all the fun, you'll have that all behind you. Get your finances in order so it doesn't come back to bite you, and that's going to come up really, really fast for you, Pisces. So for now, Pisces, I'm going to say goodbye and sending mwah, lots of love and light to all you guys because Pisces are just really great people. I know a few, and they're all wonderful people. I wish you all the best. Tune back in for mid-month September. I'll be doing the 12 videos for all 12 signs come mid-month September, so make sure and tune back in for that. If you're subscribed, you'll be alerted of it. Anyway, until then, thank you for coming once again, and have a good night. Goodbye.